Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the seed stitch. Now this is a very easy, easy stitch that you are going to absolutely love. It's very simple, yet it creates this kind of unique pattern and quite nice subtle texture. It's the same on the front as it is on the back. This is called the seed stitch. So thank you so much for joining me while you're here. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials such as the one that you're about to see here today. So let's grab a hook and some yarn and let's get started. Okay, so as I mentioned, this is a very easy and simple stitch. And uh, feel free to in the comments, let me know uh, after following the video, how would you use this stitch in a project? I'm sure that you're going to absolutely love it. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by making a foundation chain. Start with your slip knot. And your foundation chain can be any odd number of stitches. So just chain any odd number. I think today I will chain 15. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So again, chain any odd number of stitches. Then what you're going to do, working into your foundation chain, you're going to count into the second chain from your hook. So there's one and there's two. And in that second chain from your hook, you're going to work a single crochet stitch. So insert your hook, yarn over and drop a loop yarn over and draw through the two loops on your hook. That's your single crochet stitch. Then in the next stitch, you are going to work a double crochet stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over and drop a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over and draw through two loops, yarn over and draw through two more. That's your double crochet stitch. You're now simply going to repeat that all the way across your chain. So single crochet in the next stitch, followed by a double crochet stitch in the next. Repeat that all the way across, and you are going to finish your chain with a double crochet stitch. So single crochet, double crochet, all the way across. I am just working my final double crochet in my final chain there pull back and that is what it's going to look like. For row two, you're going to chain one and turn your work. You're then going to, in that first stitch, in that double crochet stitch, work one single crochet. And then in the next stitch, you're going to work a double crochet. So you're essentially going to repeat that first row once again. Single crochet in the next stitch, double crochet in the next. And you know what? That is all there is to working the seed stitch pattern. Single crochet, double crochet, all the way to the end of your work. You will always end your row with a double crochet stitch. Then you're going to chain one, turn your work, and start the pattern all over again. And that is your seed stitch. So thank you so much for joining me for this quick tutorial on how to do the seed stitch. Let me know in the comments how you would use this stitch in a project. I would love to hear. Thank you so much and until next time, happy crocheting. Bye!